Someone asked me once if I do Yoda. Can you do Yoda? I'm like, no, but I do Yoda's brother-in-law, Billy Yoda. <laughs> Hi, I am Billy Yoda. That's all I do. I don't do real impressions. But then I, I, I went to the audition and I got the role of Garlic Jr. and then happily ever after. <laughs> Questions? Yes. Will there be any more Star Trek continue episodes? Oh yes, episode four and episode five are coming out directly. We filmed two of them. Vic is finishing up episode four, which premieres at Phoenix Comic Con in, insert month here. Uh, I think it's May or April or June. I don't know. Someone could find, the great Google could tell us. I think it's in May actually. I should remember this so I can say it properly so Vic doesn't go, Chuck. Uh, and then the fifth episode, I don't know when it comes out. But yeah, we're going to be doing it for at least another three or four or five, ten years, hopefully forever, till we die. <laughs> go to an alternate universe where everybody's old in hover chairs. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of time to read the manga, and, and to be honest, it's always just the anime. Like, if it's good, it's good, to, to my mind. Um, I don't know. What's your opinion? Do you like them to stick to the manga, or do you like it to when it veers? You know, yeah, I don't care. I don't care so long as I keep having characters to voice. <laughs> More questions? Here. When you're about to go into a recording session, do you do any um, voice warm-ups? Yeah, you know, the, one of the first things I do is just And sometimes when you're driving to Funimation, you're warming up and you're like and you you're just sort of going about your drive there. La 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 la. Yeah, can I get a pack of gum too? Because you totally forget that like that's not a normal thing that people do when getting a Gatorade on the way to Funimation. I've literally done that four or five times at least. But yeah, just general vocal warm-ups. And I always tell people, like, the best vocal warm-up that you can do as a regular person, if you're not a, a professionally using your voice, and even if you are professionally using your voice, like, just picking a tongue twister every day and working on it. You know, she stood on the balcony inexplicably mimicking and hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. So you pick one, or like, Peggy Babcock, Peggy Babcock, Peggy Babcock. That's a good one. You guys can all take that. <laughs> so you become an expert with the musculature in your face. In your face! <laughs> I said it. Yes? How do you differ Pilaf from Garlic Jr.? How do I differ Pilaf from Garlic Jr.? They're pretty close. <laughs> They're sort of, every Pilaf's a little more goofy, and he's up there, he goes a little crazy, he's got a little bit more of a New York dialect, and Garlic Jr., I'm Garlic Jr., and it's a little darker and nasalier. But yeah, they're both what Chris Bevins likes to call trick two. He says, Chuck Huber, three tricks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> trick one, trick two, trick three. So that's true. And then I've got my big dark voice. That's trick number three. And I've got this voice up here. That's straight too. But then I also do a bunch of different dialects, which he doesn't take into account. Sometimes I play Russian. I just did the Russian in movie called Amerigeddon. Yes. <laughs> it's called Amerigeddon. <laughs> you don't need to know anything else about the movie. The title says it all. Directed by Chuck Norris's son, though. And I got to fly in a helicopter for uh, like four hours straight with a helicopter stunt pilot. <laughs> It was vomit-inducing, almost. <laughs> yes. When working on Soul Eater, did you and Lucy Christian do anything together to kind of get that Medusa? No, we don't get to hang out very much, but I love Lucy Christian and I love her work, so I was very pleased when I found out she was going to be Medusa. Also, I think Medusa is Toad's hot. <laughs> yes, question. What is it like going into work? Like, how many people would voice actors would be there? You know, it's interesting because when we first started at Funimation, it was like, you know, it was like a, like a 
blanket. You went behind a blanket with boxes of stuff and a microphone taped to something, you know. It wasn't very professional. They just started bare bones. And then later when we went and they had studios, it was like there was a Funimation family of people uh, that you would see up there. But typically, uh, now it's weird because you go in and there's auditions happening and people will be like, he's the voice of you. That's him. So like, there's this thing that happens with people, even at Funimation, when uh, old, some of the older actors come in, they're, they work at Funimation and they're excited to meet you, which is new, didn't used to happen. But typically you go in and there's a receptionist and you sign in and you look at the schedule to see what, what studios you're gonna be in. And then you go down to the studio or there, you go further to the right, there's coffee and water and a snack machine. Sometimes I get one of those oatmeal cookies. They're really good <laughs> with my coffee. <laughs> kind of a, go along with that. Uh, do you always have to work together or is it all separate? It's all separate. Typically you go there, like there'll be a director, an engineer, and then the booth. And it's just you in the booth. You don't work with the other actors. So you're all by your lonesome. We did one, the Dragon Age movie we did, we did that with all the actors there. And so for that, we had some of the, some group scenes that we did together, which was a lot of fun. We also did a read through of that, which was weird. Having actors from Funimation all sitting around like reading a script. We're like, we've never done this. In 15 years of doing this, and now we're sitting down reading a script. It was kind of awesome. Yes? Uh, out of all the characters that you voiced, who was the, what was the hardest character uh, for you to find the, the, the right voice? Uh, yeah, probably Shao Tucker. And, it, and when Mike McFarlane was like, no, quieter, quieter. And I'm like, if I do it any quieter, it's just whispering. <laughs> He's like, that's perfect. And so you think whispering is really easy, but whispering is technically one of the worst things you can do for your vocal folds, your vocal cords. So whispering hurts your voice a lot. But also, like, whispering, it's really hard to differentiate emotions. So it's kind of like an acting mute. It's like, I am very happy. <laughs> I am so angry. It's not exactly the same. There's nothing you can do. So, like, finding different levels or ways to say things was uh, difficult. But we've, we worked it out. To his credit, that was a really awesome, creepy character. Yes, Kululu. Um. Kululu. <laughs> Kululu. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do eat, drink, relax after a day of work? After a day of work, I like to uh, hang out with my girlfriend and with children, or walk my dog, or do all three at the same time. Uh, I like to bake bread. I have a book I'm working on that I'm writing in anapestic tetrameter, and I like writing in verse. Uh, it's a Snow White Rose Red that I'm, I'm writing, and Jessica is going to illustrate in her awesome style. Uh, what else do I like to do? Um, I like cleaning and organizing. I know that's really weird. I'll be like, oh, I've got extra time. I can do the cabinets. <laughs> like, take everything out and, like, you know, make it nice and clean and orderly. I like to do that. Oh, it makes me happy. What'd you say? Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, I, like I like to touch the lock as I lock it seven times. <laughs> it's no big deal. Um, uh, I do I like... Uh, what else do I like? Sleeping. <laughs> Recently I've been watching the series The Americans. Woo! It's a good series. And also House of Cards. Yes. Yeah. And I want to watch Birdman again. I have, I've seen it once, so oh I want to see God. it one more time. So cool. Yeah, it's such a good It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, question. Uh, so this is kind of a super hard question. All right. Wait, you're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you. Uh, like, now, I, I I can pretty much differentiate the characters. Sometimes they get mixed up a little bit. Like, uh, when I was doing Super 17, which is basically 17 but bigger, um, uh, that was a little hard to nail down sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, I slip into different voices all the time because that's just who I am. And, like, sometimes, it, you know, my children will be like, Dad, use your real voice. And I'll be like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> But, uh, I guess, you know, I'm always doing different characters. Like, will you just answer the second part of my question, too? I was gonna ask, you know, something like that, like, 
doing Vegas things. Oh yes, I've got all different Starbucks around the Metroplex, the Dallas Fort Worth area. I've got my British Starbucks, I've got my Russian Starbucks. I've got my Scottish Starbucks. I go to all the different Starbucks as different characters. Sometimes I get them mixed up and they're like, Dimitri, you sound English. <laughs> I would practicing my English dialect. Do you like it? Yes. Yes, question. Um, 